is Roblox dying in 2020 and is it still worth playing? Roblox has been around for a long while. In fact, it was released in 2006, or 14 years old today. We know Roblox as a whole selection of games made by the huge Robloxian community. In this video, I will be discussing the current state of Roblox's community as of late 2020 because I haven't been hearing anything big that's happening in the game lately. Roblox right now is actually at its highest amount of players ever, which is crazy considering that a year ago it wasn't even close to the popularity it has today. Based on Google Trends, Roblox is being searched on Google and YouTube close to Fortnite and Minecraft levels, and I was actually surprised since I wasn't even hearing anything big happen to this game lately. It will continue growing until it's reached all the audience it can get, and Roblox is probably one of the most accessible games among kids of all ages. It will likely stay alive for a couple more years even after its decline. Even with the rise of Fortnite and Minecraft, Roblox is still holding its place in the video game industry. This is because although older players are switching to those games, most of the younger players are coming into Roblox. This is why even though many YouTubers quit Roblox, it's still growing. Well now that we know that Roblox isn't dying anytime soon, why is Roblox growing so rapidly, especially during 2020? Well, its growth really spiraled out of control during quarantine. As you can see this graph on the screen, Roblox increased exponentially during the March and April period. This is because kids, especially ages below 13, are more active on their mobile devices. Now why is Roblox taking off during quarantine and not Fortnite or Minecraft? Well, with the amount of free time in your hands, even I would get bored of playing Minecraft or Fortnite. Roblox has so many games that are constantly improving that younger kids made it more popular than Fortnite. Think about this. If you played Fortnite for 3 years and had 5 hours of free time every day during quarantine, would you still play it? I know I wouldn't since the game really only has one goal and that's to be the last alive. Play 1000 games of it and you will obviously get bored. Roblox on the other hand can have an unlimited amount of games and even Roblox themselves can improve them by adding new features for developers to make new games. I stopped playing Roblox around 2 years ago when I checked it out earlier this year. I was shocked about the, all the new changes Roblox took. You just can't change the flexibility of Roblox because it can be anything it wants to if the devs and players want to make it to be. It is especially easy for kids to play Roblox because it's free, straightforward, and most importantly, kid friendly. Although gamers say Roblox is for little kids, the age group actually makes up most of the player base. Roblox is such a unique experience to play with your friends because any game in Roblox is joinable for friends, ranging from role playing games to FPS shooters. Now why should you play Roblox in 2020 still? Well in my opinion Roblox is still a really fun game. I would recommend checking out some of the new games from time to time to, and see what you like if you get bored of other games. I find myself going back to Roblox every couple of months when I'm bored of other games I want to play. I don't think many players will ever quit Roblox for good, but eventually it will come to an end like every other game. What do you think about this topic? If you want to learn more about gaming, or you just want to know more about games, subscribe. I post videos weekly, and you'll be missing out on a ton of things you might want to know about gaming. Thanks for watching, and let's have a discussion about this in the comments below.